One of the top things to do when you come to La Paz is to explore as many beaches as you can. There are so many beaches here and they are all gorgeous. Today we're exploring Playa El Cormel. It's about a 15 minute car ride. I know there are buses that can bring you out here. I know you can walk along Malcon all the way out here. We ordered an Uber. There's also Didi, a similar rideshare app, and it cost us 44 pesos, which is like roughly $2. And it took us 15 minutes and we were here, and now we just have this amazing beach. And there's a lot of rock formations you can go and explore around. There's a big pier that you can go walk out onto. There's probably about like 20 palapas that you can lay under. They're totally free of charge. There is a couple restaurants that you can go up and eat at or they do have servers that come down to you. It's so amazing for just laying out. There's a water park right next to it. Unfortunately, it is closed right now, but it looks like at one point it used to be the zip line that would go over the ocean. There's two big water slides that you finish the water slides and you end up in the ocean. It doesn't get much better than that. swim and there were so many little fish that would just like swim right up to him. It was so cute. When we walked up we went to the right side which is right over here kind of we thought that was the main beach but then right over here to the left which we didn't even notice was a whole other part of the beach we just got done with the beach we are now trying to figure out how to get back there's no ubers or dds um that are popping up on our phone I've read that like in La Paz, there's these colectivos. It's just like a bus, a van that kind of drives around. So we're just kind of walking on the street. Maybe gonna throw a thumb out, I don't know, and see if we can find a ride back. So, so far, transportation in La Paz has not been the best. Getting an Uber was not the taxi. easiest. We just saw a taxi, now oh. <laughs> Pat's yelling at him. We'll see how this goes. We might just walk back. It's only like a 30 minute walk, so we'll see what happens. So we are at Playa Tecolate. It's the furthest beach from La Paz but it is definitely worth coming to. It's the longest beach here in La Paz. It's got beautiful white sand, amazing blue water. There's a ton of restaurants to choose from, and we chose Restaurante La Concha. It's just a husband and wife, they run it. We are eating amazing fish tacos, drinking a delicious margarita, and have some great guacamole. I'm dead serious when I say this. When I say this, but this is the best fish taco I've ever had in my life. You know it's good when a little old lady makes it for you. It's also something I say quite often. So if you come to this beach, whatever it's called, get fish tacos from a little old lady. Pat has already devoured his. I haven't even started on mine. The food here is so incredible. It is pricier than the other places we looked at, but it's so worth it. The guac, I'm not a big guac fan, but that's the best guac ever. So, these fish tacos are unreal. Like the best breading I've ever had. Yeah. Playa Tecolote is a great beach to just relax, swim in the ocean, and enjoy a party at all of the restaurants and bars.
Make sure you have a ride back into town though. There's no service out there, so we ended up hitchhiking. Thank you to Gabby, Hector, and can't remember the last dude's name, but thank you guys if you see this video. We really, really appreciate you picking us up. And if I forgot your name or screwed it up, I'm sorry. But we will be back, and when we do, let's meet up for tacos. Peace out from Montana. Park here in Mexico, which we actually did not know that. So when you arrive, there's a bunch of police guards or national guards, and you have to get a wristband. The wristband is 50 pesos per person. So for Pat and I both, it was 100 pesos, which is roughly five USD. And then you get to be here in this gorgeous area. You can walk across the entire bay. It is so shallow. It is the most well-known beach in all of La Paz. I beg to terribly say it's one of the most well-known beaches in the entire Baja of California. We're in paradise, baby. of the beaches here in La Paz, uh, Belandra does not have any restaurants. They do have one restroom that we were told by the National Guard lady, but so there's no restaurants. So I'm the restaurant. you got to bring in your own food. There's your lunch. I'm gonna eat it. Don't. There you go. Yes. Not bad, huh? Not like a good tuna salad with some Doritos <laughs> in this paradise. We're walking out. We're gonna go do some snorkeling. I'm not sure what the snorkeling is gonna be like here, but the water is gorgeous. Pushing himself across the bottom. Blooper time. We just got done going for a nice swim out in Belandra Bay. Wow. It's kind of all I have to say. It is gorgeous here. It's a little bit windy today, but we're still having a great time. We actually told our DD driver if he'd pick us up in three hours and he said yes, to be seen if he shows up. To get over to where we were hanging out at, you kind of have to walk along little rock outcropping. You can kind of see it in the background when I'm walking over. Not the easiest to film and walk over it. We'll see if I fall and eat shit. Whoa, whoa. That was a close one. When you first get here, there's all these palapas right here. When we first got here, this was all underwater. See, there's the water so it's definitely low tide right now there's a bunch of palapas and they're all a first-come first-served basis 
You can rent some kayaks and some paddle boards here. He came back for us. That's a nice guy right there. Make sure you book yourself a trip to La Paz and you come out and check out Balandra Beach. It is gorgeous.